since you are already familiar with the process of adding and subtracting functions, pwede na tayo mag-proceed to the next operation which is the multiplication of functions. By definition, multiplication of functions is given by f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Suppose we have the functions f of x and g of x, where f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 3. Let's find f times g of x. And later, we're going to compute also for f times g of negative 2. Focus muna tayo kay f times g of x. In this case, by applying the definition here, we know that the product of the functions f and g is equal to their product f of x times g of x. And so, papalitan lang natin ngayon si f of x ng x squared minus 1 and si g of x ng x plus 3. And so, we have x squared minus 1 times x plus 3. And take note, in-emphasize ko rito yung paggamit ng grouping symbol natin tulad ng parenthesis. Okay? Kasi kapag walang parenthesis, iba yung magiging meaning nito. That is why we have to be very careful sa paggamit ng parenthesis because it means that the entire function x squared minus 1 is to be multiplied by another function x plus 3. Yan ang meaning natin kapag may parenthesis. Pero kung wala, that is another story. That's a different story. Alright, so let's proceed. So, anong gagawin natin kung meron na tayong gantong resulting uh, expression na nandito sa right side? So, technically, since meron tayong two binomials, we can simplify and expand this by using the FOIL method, yung sikat at sikat. So, we have the first, outer, inner, last. And let's apply that to, to solve this. So, the first terms are x squared and x. So, x squared times x is x cubed. Outer terms, we have x squared and positive 3. So, x squared times positive 3, and that is positive 3x squared. Inner terms, negative 1 and x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And then the last terms, we have negative 1 and positive 3. Negative 1 times positive 3, and that is negative 3. And in this case, titignan natin palagi ah, kung meron bang mga similar terms. Because kapag may mga similar terms pa tayo, we must combine them together para mas masimplify natin itong ating expression sa right side. Kung titignan natin, isa lang dito yung third degree term, no? So si x cubed lang. So wala na tayong ibang i-combine sa kanya. Kung titignan pa natin, meron tayong second degree term. Isa lang din, wala na iba. Meron din tayong uh, first degree term. Isa lang din. At meron tayong isang constant term. And in this case, makikita natin na itong resulting expression natin sa right side ng ating equation is already in simplest form. And that means, f times g of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. So basically, this is the result. No? This is another function na nabuo after natin i-multiply si f of x and g of x. And now, let's find f times g of negative 2. In this case, wala na tayong problema because nakuha na natin si f times g of x, which is x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is to evaluate this function when x is negative 2. Ipalit lang natin si negative 2 sa lahat ng x na meron tayo dito. And so, we have f times g of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 cubed plus 3 times negative 2 squared minus negative 2 minus 3. Say say natin. Negative 2 cubed means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 and that gives us negative 8. 3 times negative 2 squared. Now, in this case, unahin natin itong may exponent. It means negative 2 squared and that gives us positive 4 because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times 3 and that gives us positive 12. Next, we also have the minus of negative 2, no? negative of negative 2 and that gives us positive 2. Take note, no? nagtabi tong negative na yan, automatically magiging positive yan. So it's like, isipin mo, it's like negative 1 times negative 2 and that is positive 2. 
or negative of negative 2 and that is positive 2 and we still have negative 3 by simplifying this further combine na natin yan and so we have negative 8 plus 12 positive 4 plus 2 positive 6 minus 3 and that gives us positive 3 and this is now the f times g of negative 2 which is positive 3 and this is how we multiply functions and this is how we evaluate that resulting function for some values of x and that's it i hope you learned something today thank you for watching